before we get started, I would just like to give these guys a little shout out for always going up really early and I really appreciate it. So thank you guys and mwah! Another thing before I start is that I want to tell you a quick story and then I'm going to introduce my stream. So a few days ago, my friend Plushy messaged me saying that someone was looking for me on the Discord server. So I went and checked and then I ended up finding out that one guy by the name of Jose, he was looking for me because he wanted me to meet up with his girlfriend Angie and then um, just to surprise her with a little something something. And we ended up just talking on Discord for a few hours and it was just really fun. They ended up being super cool and then we also became really good friends. In the end, they actually convinced me to revive my stream. I used to stream, but it was for something else. And for this stream, you're going to see more of me, but I might not necessarily do Love Nikki stuff. There's a side where I'm doing Love Nikki, but then I could be playing other games and then talking to you guys. And also, okay, so I need to take another <laughs> exam. Wow, congratulations! But this exam is about ethics. And then some questions I thought were super fun. Like, not funny, it just really problematic actually so the opposite of funny and I thought I could talk to you guys about it and we can you know think about it so your friend tells you that a piece of expensive electronic equipment he bought for about three thousand dollars just two weeks ago had stopped working the store where he bought it had a seven day return policy your friend goes to the store buys a new piece of equipment and then returns the old damage equipment in place of a full refund the store is owned by your uncle who is struggling to keep the business going. How would you deal with the situation? So obviously there's no right or wrong answer, but I'd love to talk to you guys about this and I thought it'd be super cool and low-key help me prepare for my exam. So that's what the stream is really going to be. And I'll just post the link here and in the description below. And you can join me as soon as I upload this video. I'll be just chilling on there. And yeah, basically that's it. One last tidbit is that have you guys actually noticed that I have a new type of thumbnail? So Jose, like the same Jose from the beginning story, he helped me figure out a new template style that's kind of very aesthetically pleasing and I'm really content with it. So I hope you guys like that and let's get started. So again, we're going to start with the outfits that are going to do really well in this particular competition. I know most of these outfits are unavailable at the moment, so if you do have them, congrats. And if you don't, I tried to put one more uh, one more outfit that you could possibly use if you didn't have Love Nikki back then. So the first one is Flower Lyric. This one was part of a Lucky Bag event, so it was the same one as Ode to Glory. And I actually didn't get it. I got the Time Buys one, so yeah, I'm a little disappointed because I actually do like this suit a little more than the other one. And another outfit that would do well is Poetic Future. So Poetic Future was from a past happiness event, and if you have it, this suit's going to do really well. Wind's Whisper is a possible one you could use if you don't have any of them and you happen to do time yards. So if you have the dress for this one, congrats, this will help you a lot and maybe the hair too. Dream Travel is also another one and basically it's only the dress and possibly the little dandelion she's holding. Is that called a dandelion? <laughs> yeah. The last one is Lightly Dancing Butterflies. So I don't see this as much, but if you're really running out of options, this one is one that you can craft. If you have the pink one, I think that's a little better because the pink one's color scheme really fits this competition. So let's go to the competition and check out what the good items are. So the first one would be the hair, and the hair is something that you want that's long and wavy and usually like a light brown color, so different shades of brown. The first one we have is Dusk Pavlon from Mirage. If you have this, it's great. Like, you can use it. Besides the rank one person, I haven't really seen this one as much, but you know, you're gonna do fine if you use it because people want to imitate the top scoring people, right? And the second one is Violin Poet, which is the one she has here. You have to craft this, and I think it costs diamonds. Yeah, so in total, this would be like 160 diamonds. I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know why I have so many of the flower hair pin. I may have bought it by accident, which is a shame. And the third one is Butterflies Pink from the Lightly Dancing Butterfly. I'm not entirely sure if I can find it. Ooh, this is really nice. What is this? Genial Sunshine from Princess Dawn. But yeah, I don't think I can find the Lightly Dancing Butterfly in pink version. But, but you know what? I can just show it to the people who are curious. So I guess customize. Here it is. So if you make it into this blonde color, it's going to do well in this competition. And the last one is the hair that I have, which is the Jewel of Ocean. So it was the previous recharge suit for Venus. Depending on what theme you're going to go for, so I kind of went with a bike theme. It's not working that well. I might have to change it up. But if you're going to go with the bike theme, you're going to have to use uh, the coat I have now, which is Affectionate 
gypsophilia. gypsophilia. I have no idea what that means, but you need this coat because you kind of want to hold the bike. Another coat that I've seen has worked well is actually the light pink tippet. It works well with the poetic future dress, so I'll show you what that dress is after. Don't worry if you're lost. And then the third coat that you should wear is actually part of an outfit, so it's actually this one. It's called Flower Moon Serve. This one works really well with the dress that it originally comes with, which is this one, Flowery Memories. And together, you're going to have a really easy time just shooting up into like the top 10, 20, 50, 100,000, but still, you're going to be in the top 5% with this outfit. And as for the dresses I'm going to mention now, it's best if you don't actually use a coat because sometimes having more isn't good. So these ones might be better off being alone. So that would be Unbroken Bow, this one over here, or you can do the Lightly Dancing Butterfly. Again, the pink recolor is a good option. And the last one is actually this one. I find this dress absolutely stunning, but I don't have it and it's from Banquet Phantom, so yeah. But that pink really fits with a lot of things. Actually, I kind of want to check out how it looks like as an entire suit. Okay, it doesn't look as good as I thought it was, but that dress, if it's colored, then it's gorgeous. So as for the shoes, a lot of the dresses that I mentioned earlier don't really require shoes. And if you end up do needing shoes because you have a short dress like I do, then you can just go for a simple tendril so it looks like this. Or the ones I have right now, which is sour cranberry. So these shoes shouldn't matter a lot. As long as it fits your color scheme, then you should be fine. The main parts of the competition is what you're wearing, as in the dress-wise, and then your makeup, your hair, and the background items. Other things like accessories and shoes, as long as you don't go overboard with it, you're fine. As usual, I am not a socks fan, so I didn't even bother looking at it. I think it just looks fine without socks because if I put socks on, the vibe just totally changes and I don't really like it. As for the makeup, the makeup's my favorite bit. I feel like I should be changing it, but since I got the figure of the city recently, I really want to use it. But basically, besides this one, you can try using Goddess Favor. So with this one, it means that any sleeping makeup would work. As usual, Goddess's Favor, Whisper, and Awakening Spring would work. Other things that work would probably be Moth to Fire, as usual, or just very soft makeup. Soft makeup with pink lips, those are ones to go for. And you can just refer to the top 20 for that. As for the headwear, I just went with something simple like the little leaves on my head. It's called Jade Wave if you're interested and I got it from the Jewel of Ocean. I thought that it really fit the theme well, plus it was like part of her hair. So I guess it, it works out in the end. Since we're already on accessories, I'll just continue with that. We want white vine. So white vine is a thing I have in my background. This one, if you have it, congrats because it's really important. And it's also, I think it's a top scoring item. This white vine, you'll always see in a competition as long as it mentions flowers. So this one is a top scoring item, a Starlight of Night Balloon, so it's the balloons I have in the background. These ones are good depending on your theme, but I think that most of the outfits that I mentioned now, if you put it on the back, it's pretty good. Wings of Vast Sky, I don't really recommend it because sometimes it's a hit or miss, especially with wings because people might not like that and it might not really fit your theme. So it looks kind of weird that I have the Wings of Vast Sky right now, but if you have the Unbroken Vow dress, which is, you know, the one from Poetic Future that's pink, it kind of fits depending on how you're really going about that. So another one is Stairs of Music. So that one would be this one in the background. You have to craft it, and I'm pretty sure it costs diamonds. So I know Noble Cape definitely costs diamonds, so it will cost you over 100 diamonds to craft it. This one I've seen a lot actually, so it's pretty versatile. You might want to consider crafting it if you really like it, but I'm not going to do it because I want to hoard my diamond. Another thing you can do is winding staircase. So it would look like this. This one is a good one. I use Picnic. I don't see it a lot. Maybe that's why my score is kind of down, but I really wanted to use it. So I'm hoping that people are going to vote for me. Uh, another good one is Meet by Chance. So this one is the arc over here. Again, it's another really popular one, especially if there's flowers in the competition. Eternal Flower Rain. So it's this one which is from the fondant game this one really matches with the unbroken bow so any pink dresses that you're wearing another good one is fallen petal i don't see this as much anymore these ones are just typical go-to's if you don't have anything else same with fireflies here lastly we have things we hold in our hand so that would be encounter of love which is the little ghost hands you see in the back this one works with the pink dresses again and lady bike is the one i have like it's literally the bicycle and toucana if you want some flowers on your head ta-da so there are definitely more things you can put on your head you could put the olive laurel you can put cranberry you can put the wreaths and they would all fit the reason why i didn't put it is because i'm lazy and 
you know what, I could try right now. Let me let me just change it up a little and we can see. But by the way, I just wanted to show you guys something. Literally, I hit 173 yesterday with this outfit, but then the theme changed again. So the dream wedding outfit just slowly disappeared and I hit like top 8% afterwards. So I was really sad, but see, this worked. I was so excited about it. But yeah, I hope that this was helpful. I guess I was a little rushed today because I had driving lessons. I already know how to drive, but I need to take my highway test and then I'm kind of brushing up on my skills. My teacher was an hour late. What? So everything got pushed behind schedule and I wanted to publish this quickly because I know that I accidentally skipped the last competition. I thought I had one more day and I was really struggling with finding a theme. That competition gave me the biggest headache and when I woke up I realized it was done before I could do anything. So I really apologize for this one and I hope you guys forgive me. But thank you guys for watching and for those of you who want to join me on my stream, I'll be sitting there, chilling there, drinking some iced tea. So talk to you guys later. Bye!